Hi there, my name is Marquez and today I'm going to talk about the Globe Sample Project and how to work with it. Um, to work with the Globe Sample Project in GLayers, you'll need to install ARP, which is a free plugin from Video Copilot, and it's super awesome. I'm going to open up the Sample Projects panel, and there you can find the Globe Project. Simply click it to download and open it. What you will find is a prepared project with a few countries highlighted and a few labels. So the first step we're going to take is we're going to clean the project. Also you notice there's a control map comp and a text map comp in the project, but I'll come back to this later. Now click the control map comp. This will open up the containing comp that we're going to work with most of the time. If we're having a look at the layers here, we can find the labels and for each label a helper null layer. For now, we're going to remove these ones. But what about the highlighted countries? Have a look in the texture composition. There you will find two shape layers, Germany and Iran. Simply select them and remove them. Now let's go back to our VC orb composition. The first thing we want to do is we want to change our view. So therefore, I'm going to hit U with the control map comes selected here. And this will reveal the keyframe properties of this layer which is latitude, longitude, and the zoom. I'm going to select all of these keyframes and remove them. Now, make sure that you have the control map come selected and then simply change the view. If that view fits, click the keyframe button here. This will add keyframes to all the properties. We don't need pitch and bearing, so I'm going to remove these ones here. Now I'm going to move my current time indicator to five seconds and here I'm going to adjust the view. Like this, automatically keyframes will get created. I'm going to zoom in a bit further, like that. Now this project works a bit different than others. So it has a texture map comp, but the map comp is sort of fixed to the texture of the whole globe and you don't need to finalize it after changing the view. This also means that the project is locked to a certain zoom. So you cannot zoom in super close like you're used to it. The texture resolution is good for country scale maps though. As a next step, we're going to highlight the USA. And what we want to do is we want to draw on the texture map comp. So make sure you select the texture map comp. Then I'm going to double click the USA here. And this will give me some search results for the coordinate that I just clicked. The preview shows me what GeoLayers has found here. As first step, I'm going to draw the USA. So I'm going to select the style here and click the little draw icon. There we go. The USA is highlighted here. I would like to draw the inner borders. So I'm going to select a line style here and hit draw again. As a last step, I would like to highlight the state of New York. So I'm going to simply click here to select features at a certain coordinate. And now I'm going to find New York and with a different style selected, I can simply add it to our map. And everything that happens on this texture comp is of course also reflected on our globe. And all the features that I have drawn end up in the texture composition right here. So I could easily, for example, take my state bounds and set the opacity to 50% here to make them a bit more subtle. Now let's go ahead and add some labels. As I said, this project is a bit different from all the other GeoLayers projects, so adding labels is a bit more complicated. On top of the VC or composition, you will find two layers, which is coordinate 2D and coordinate 3D. And they also got like this little marker with an info. It says duplicate position via effect controls and parent labels to me. So, Let's do this. I'm going to duplicate this layer and I'm going to have a look at its effect controls. And there you can find a latitude and longitude. And as I drag this around, you can see that it positions our helper now. What we could do is we can select a feature right here and have a look at its properties. And if you scroll down, you will find lat and long, which is actually the latitude and the longitude of this feature. So I'm simply typing in. 39 and minus 97. 
Like that, you can see that the helper null now sits perfectly at the USA. I'm gonna add some text. I'm gonna set the paragraph here, maybe crank up the size a bit and change the font. And now I'm gonna parent this text layer to the coordinate helper null we've just created. After doing this, I'm gonna set the position to zero. And like this, our text label sits perfectly on the US, also in our animation. So we're gonna repeat these steps for our callout label for the state of New York. So I'm selecting the layer we just created. I'm duplicating it. Now I can change the coordinates manually here to match the state of New York. I'm adding a text here. Type in New York. I'm changing the font again. I'm zooming in here a bit and set the resolution to full. And now I grab my pen tool and simply draw this callout line. If you hold shift while adding these vertices, uh, they will snap to like perfectly horizontally or 45 degrees. Now done that, I'm gonna parent my text to my line and my line to the helper now. Now I'm gonna select the line layer and simply drag it to match New York. And this works perfectly. Now another really cool thing what you have control over is the lighting. So there's this little sun control here. If you hit R, you're gonna reveal its rotation properties. And what you can do is change the rotation of it. And as you do this, the lighting of our globe changes. So while the animation is taking place, I'm gonna also keyframe the lighting of our globe here. Now, if you want to see the final result, simply open up the render comp. You can also very easily change the texture. Therefore, you need to access the texture map comp settings, which are locked by default. So you can unlock the settings, click here, then you can select the different imagery Click apply and make sure to finalize after you apply the new imagery. And right now, like this, you can change the texture for the whole animation. So I hope this helps you working with our globe project. Feel free to gamble around with it and let us know if you're missing something. Bye.